Nasopharyngeal cancer, also known as NPC, is a relatively rare malignancy that arises from the epithelial cells lining the nasopharynx. It is highly prevalent in specific ethnic populations, such as individuals of Southeast Asian descent. The etiopathogenesis of NPC involves complex molecular pathways, which will be explored in detail in this script. Additionally, accurate staging and classification systems are crucial for appropriate treatment selection and prognostication. This script will delve into the TNM staging system and the UX AJCC classification, providing a comprehensive understanding of these systems. Nasopharyngeal cancer is caused by a combination of genetic, environmental, and viral factors. Epstein Barr virus, EBV, infection is a key factor, with NPC cases having high levels of EBV DNA. Viral on proteins and dysregulated signaling pathways contribute to tumor progression. This information helps in developing new treatments. The accurate staging and classification of nasopharyngeal cancer are crucial for effective treatment planning and predicting patient outcomes. The TNM staging system assesses tumor invasion, lymph node involvement, and metastases, while the UX AJCC classification considers additional factors for risk stratification. Understanding these systems is important for tailoring treatment plans. Imaging techniques like PET CT, MRI, and CT scan are important for diagnosing and staging nasopharyngeal cancer. They provide detailed information on tumor extent, lymph node involvement, and distant metastases, helping in treatment planning and monitoring. Biomarkers are important in nasopharyngeal cancer for detecting it early and predicting how well treatment will work. Potential biomarkers include TNA, EBV DNA, microRNAs, and protein markers like VEGF, EGFR, and KE67. Evaluation of these biomarkers is crucial for improving patient outcomes. In the section on treatment modalities, we discuss the different approaches used for nasopharyngeal cancer, including surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, targeted therapy, and immunotherapy. Each modality has its advantages and is selected based on the stage and characteristics of the disease. Surgery is effective for early-stage tumors, while radiation therapy is a fundamental part of treatment regardless of the stage. Chemotherapy is commonly used in combination with radiation therapy to improve treatment outcomes. Targeted therapy and immunotherapy have shown promise in certain cases, providing new therapeutic options for patients. A personalized approach is crucial in selecting the most appropriate treatment for each patient. In the video on salvage treatment options for nasopharyngeal cancer, we explore the use of salvage surgery, re-irradiation, and emerging therapies to improve outcomes for patients with recurrent or refractory disease. In the video on complications and long-term effects of nasopharyngeal cancer treatment, we discuss potential issues such as dry mouth, difficulty swallowing, dental problems, hearing loss, and cognitive impairments. Healthcare professionals play a crucial role in recognizing and managing these complications, improving patients' quality of life post-treatment. Radiotherapy is a key treatment for nasopharyngeal cancer. Intensity modulated radiation therapy, IMRT, and proton therapy are advanced techniques that improve outcomes by delivering radiation precisely to the tumor, reducing side effects and improving patients' quality of life. IMRT uses multiple beams with different intensities to target the tumor, while proton therapy delivers radiation even more precisely by utilizing proton beams. These techniques reduce treatment-related complications, and understanding their principles is crucial for clinicians to make informed treatment decisions and improve patient outcomes. In the management of nasopharyngeal cancer, proper evaluation and management of cervical lymph nodes are essential. Knowledge of lymph node levels, metastasis patterns, and neck dissection is crucial for accurate staging and treatment planning. Post-treatment surveillance is critical in nasopharyngeal cancer to monitor for disease recurrence, assess treatment response, and ensure long-term patient care. The development of appropriate surveillance strategies is crucial for timely detection of recurrent disease and optimizing outcomes. Follow-up protocols typically involve regular clinical evaluations, including physical examination, assessment of treatment-related toxicities, and patient-reported symptoms. Surveillance imaging, such as MRI or PET-CT scans, is utilized at predefined intervals to detect local-regional recurrence, distant metastases, or treatment-related complications. The frequency and duration of surveillance may vary based on individual patient characteristics, disease stage, and treatment modality. Early detection of recurrent disease enables timely intervention, potentially improving patient outcomes. By implementing effective surveillance strategies, clinicians can closely monitor patients, detect recurrent disease, and provide appropriate management, thereby enhancing long-term patient care. Prognostic factors, including clinical, histopathological, and molecular markers, are crucial in treatment planning and patient counseling for nasopharyngeal cancer. 
These factors help predict disease behavior and guide personalized treatment selection to improve patient outcomes. Targeted therapy and immunotherapy advancements, including PD-1 inhibitors and epigenetic modulators, show promise in treating nasopharyngeal cancer. These agents enhance immune response and reverse cellular changes, offering potential new treatment options for patients. In conclusion, nasopharyngeal cancer is a complex disease that requires a comprehensive understanding and a team approach. This video has covered various aspects of the disease, including its causes, staging, imaging, treatment options, and prognosis. By acquiring a thorough knowledge of these topics, healthcare providers can improve patient care and outcomes in managing nasopharyngeal cancer.